Uncle Duke is hanging out with the girls in the treehouse. And it's the cutest thing. They're all trying to eat. And Taz is being a good boy with his mom over there. So I was talking to this lady and she was asking me questions about my experience but at this point I've been loving what's been happening when the moms raise the kids. They are super sweet and they are super tame and they want human interaction because we do take the time to go with them and spend time with them not only every morning but every afternoon. So when I get them out the first thing in the morning, I sit down with them, I just climb all over me, I pet them, I get all that energy out of them. And then by the time they're kind of done with me, they want to go explore, play in their tree house or something like that, then that is when I get my clue, I pick up my stuff and go. They spend most of the day with their moms and playing around and trying to pick up fights really with everyone in the pen, at least the boy is. But when I come in the afternoon, they are kind of done with the herd and they want that human attention again and so I give it to them. We have a great time. The girls like to fall asleep on my lap or my daughter's lap and it is the craziest thing that they really enjoy spending time with us. But by six o'clock, I've been putting them in at seven, but by six o'clock, they're kind of all waiting by the gate, so we go in and we spend time with them. The little kids are kind of sleepy, so they do play, but then at some point lay down and they, they kind of let you know that they're tired, so we let them sleep on our laps uh, while we pet them and we wait for 7 o'clock and then they all go in with their moms in their pens and you know, they have as much milk as they want. At this point, I'm not milking. I was milking, but really it didn't work as planned because I don't have a separate area for milking. And it was stressful for the mom because the babies wanted to nurse. I had to clip the rest of the coats. Duke was not having the clipping. And so once the boys move out, we'll be able to do something separate and we'll be able to get things done really in there. I'm not worrying about how much milk they're gonna produce. I see they have full udders. And even if they're not amazing quantities of milk, um, I just need some grace at this time and understand this is our first year with goats and we're doing the best that we can. So even though I don't have any experience with bottle babies, I think that the experience that I have with our moms raising them, it's great, really. And I don't think I would separate and bottle feed in order to have a more friendly goat, maybe for other reasons, health reasons, a mom rejecting her baby. But right now, I this is my experience and I thought I'd share it. It might be something that changes in the future, but right now, I really love that they're okay with being with the herd and they're okay being with us and they're super sweet and super love, you know, they want your love. But at the same time, it's not like I have to babysit them 24-7. Now, if you know what that is, let me know. What kind of bird is that? It's like it's coughing or something. Anyways, I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for being here today, guys. If you're new, please remember to subscribe, 
like the video and share if you think it's helpful and i'll see you next time bye